first of many tutorial videos about the Hiss Impulse Response Toolbox. The Hiss Impulse Response Toolbox is a Swiss Army knife of impulse response, convolution, and deconvolution tools for use in electronic and mixed music. In this first video, we'll go over creating an impulse response of an acoustic space using the Impulse Response Toolbox. The way we'll do this is by generating an exponentially swept sine wave, or ESS. The ESS gives us a much higher signal to noise ratio than using something like a clapstick or starter pistol. In principle, the same thing is happening, but by using an ESS, we're smearing the impulse in time. Let's take a look inside the patch to see what objects we're going to be using to create and capture the ESS. The main object we'll be using is IR measure. This object serves two functions. The first is to generate the ESS, and the second is to calculate the impulse response from the recorded audio through deconvolution. In order to generate the appropriate ESS for our application, we need to tell IR measure the kind of sweep we want. Since we'll be capturing an impulse response of a large building with a relatively long reverb time, we need to specify our expected impulse response length. The rest of the default settings can stay exactly as they are. For more information on IR measure, you can check the help file. Now that we have our patch ready to go, we need to set up the recording and playback equipment. Since IR measure is doing the ESS generation and deconvolution, the playback and recording must happen on the same computer. The speaker and microphone that you use is quite important as it will both be captured as part of the impulse response that's created. As such, you should use the flattest sounding speaker and microphone you have available. In our case, we're using a Genelec 1037 and a pair of DPA 4006s. It is possible to correct for less ideal loudspeaker and microphones, but this will be covered in future videos. It is useful to play back source material so that you can find a good sounding place to capture the audio, as you might with any normal recording. Once your position is located, set up your microphone and adjust the input gain levels. As with all digital recording, we want to record as hot as possible without clipping the input to give us the best signal to noise ratio possible. Now we'll record our sweep. It is important that you stay silent during this time as any noise captured will become part of the impulse response. Now that we've captured the impulse response, let's see how it sounds. Here's the impulse response we created. Let's listen to the source material we originally played in the acoustic space. And here it is with a convolution reverb based on the impulse response created. Multiconvolve handles the zero latency convolution. So how does it compare to the actual atrium? Here's a reference audio from before, but is recorded in the acoustic space. And here's the convolution. The beauty of a convolution is that anything can be used as an impulse response. Here's a patch that generates a random impulse response from exponentially decaying noise. Here's the impulse response that it generated. Now here's our source material running through this random impulse response. no atrium but it does sound great. So as you can see the Hiss Impulse Response Toolbox is quite powerful but we're only really scratching the surface here. Some of the topics that we'll be covering in upcoming videos are speaker and room correction, microphone correction, and creative and non-linear convolution.